see the chemistry. Real close. All right. Zach and G, we'll just jump right into questions. Okay. Guillermo, this is a, I, I don't think Zach can really answer this because he wasn't here last year. But you know, last year, you guys, it was about like building something and turning it around. It feels like this year's kind of more building something sustainable, where it's been proven, but now it's something that can last for years to go. Would you agree with that? That there's kind of like a different message this year that it's about building something long term. Yeah, uh, like you said, I feel like last year was more like about building the, the basement, mm -hmm. you know, and now we, we're still building that, that basement, the, those roots, those uh, values, but now we, we, we're working on top of what we had last year, you know, and we still want to keep our roots and now build on top of them so we can have a, a strong structure to keep building up, you know, and, and to last a long time. And, and I guess to follow for Zach, I mean, is that was that part of the appeal for you to come here that you saw kind of what was being built and with multiple years of eligibility you felt you know hey i could be a part of something here for a long time yeah uh definitely that was definitely what i was looking for especially when i came here you see an up and coming program trying to bring yourself back up and you see they got the pieces the coaches and you just showed they showed what they, they can do last year when they come all together and uh you know yeah uh seeing that i just jumped jumped to it wanted to be a part of it Gee, what are, what are the bricks of that foundation? Like, what is what do you feel like the program is built on? Um, you know, first of all, we have um, our um, brick by brick um, values. Uh, we stick together. Um, we show up every day. We make no excuses. And also, um, we are family. You know, all the all the all the things we built last year about like how we got we gotta be together. We gotta fight together. We gotta be a, a team. We gotta care about each other. All of that. I feel like. Those are our values, and then after that comes basketball, you know? Then after that comes the talent, the, the players, the how good you are. But first is about how, how good of a person you are, how good of a teammate you are. And that, I feel like that's our, our, our values. For both you guys, I'd like to know what your, Zach and Guillermo, what are your personal expectations for the season and your team expectations for the season? The fans, of course, want, want you to win every game. But what are you guys, what are your own personal expectations for the team and for you individually? Uh, I'd say for me, just, just being being the best player that I can be. I don't want to put, uh, like, you know, things out there. Uh, I feel like I'm going to just keep that with me. And uh, my coaches, I think we already talked and discussed about what they want me to do uh, individually. But as a team, uh, we want to win a championship, uh, win ACC, go to the tournament, win that. Uh, main thing is win. I think everybody in this program know we can win it all, and that's what we're going to try to do. Uh, for me, I'm, I'm going to put the team first because uh, we talked about it uh, before last game. Put pit together, play pit together, and then the rest, your individual talent will show up. So for the team, uh, I, expect, I expect us to be good, you know, together, stronger, to be a fun team to watch because you've seen like how we run. we got guys that can dunk on everyone. Uh, so I expect us to be a, a fun team to watch. And then after that, personally, you know, be, be able to help the, the team and, and develop my game, um, show how, how can I shoot the three, two, uh, pick up Bob, maybe oh, I also like playmaking abilities. Uh, but yeah, that, that's it. Zach, is this the most excited you've been for a season to start? Oh, for sure. I've, I've been so excited for this for this season. Uh, ever since I decided to come here. Playing in front of the zoo, these fans, playing ACC, playing for a good team, you know, this is new for me. And, for my college life, you know, playing for a good team. So I'm just really excited, you know, to kick this our season off and just play basketball. Do you know anything about North Carolina A&T? Yeah, I played against a and I'm undefeated. Uh, I'm 2-0. Oh, yeah? So, uh, yeah, I know, I, know, I know a lot about uh, a and I know a couple of people on their team, uh, a couple of them from the same city I'm in. Uh, but, yeah, I, I know a little bit about that game. I know they got a new coach, but, yeah. They cool people. I know some somebody on the team. They some cool people. Are they gonna be a challenge for you guys? Uh, you know, you can't take nobody like me. Everybody's gonna be a challenge. It's basketball. You still gotta put the thing in the hoop, regardless of how much they think you're gonna win by. And, you know, you can lose to anybody in any given day. And, you know, NCAA tournament is a product of that. You just see people that lose. Sixteen teams, sixteen sixteen seeds are winning against one seeds now. So. This is basketball. Anybody can win. I mean, win or lose any day. Guys, just looking at your schedule, I mean, you have four games against mid majors, and then you will have then five straight games against power five teams, and at least two of those five 
made the tournament last year. And obviously, like you said, you don't want to overlook anyone. But, I mean, what are you looking to establish in these first four games to kind of, like, find your footing and get ready for those big games that aren't too far away? I feel like um, well, we want to start to see where we are, right? Mm -hmm. Start uh, fixing mistakes, you know. Uh, of course, we, want, we don't want to take anybody lightly. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, the first games allow us to see where we are on defense, what we're going to correct. So now when we play the, the, the bigger teams, you know, we're ready for them. And, and we, we, we know what we work on and what we can improve. So, you know, every, every, I feel like every game is an opportunity for us to get better. I love better because the games is where you see where you gotta improve, you know. Guillermo, do you feel like you guys can be a better defensive team this year than you were last year? Hundred percent, because you know we we got really athletic guys and we got a lot of a lot of land. So I feel like we can be a a, a really good defensive team. Um, and we already see from the first game things we gotta get better on. And I feel like if we do the right things. It's gonna be really, really hard to score against us. Are you gonna shoot more threes this year? <laughs> yeah, because I've, I've been working on it, uh, and yeah, uh, I think I, I shoot um, over three on the first game. Uh, but yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely, I mean, we we've been working on that, and and practice, I've been taking a lot of threes. So yeah, I definitely expect to take more threes, and to make more threes too. Is that from the coach? You suggesting that, or is that just your own personal? Oh yeah, no, no. The coaches since summer, they be telling me that I can shoot the ball. You gotta do it more because mm -hmm. it's, it's really uh, uh, really hard to guard uh, five men that can shoot. Mm -hmm. So it just opens up a lot, a lot of stuff. Yeah, well, you, you mentioned defense. How much have you guys heard the word rebound, and how big is that gonna be for, for both of you to, to take part in that aspect yeah. of the game? Yeah, that's just the same as uh, how he was talking about defense. Same thing with rebounding. Uh, I feel like we'd be a good rebound team. We just gotta tighten up on some, on the little things, just boxing out, just you know, just making sure we stay focused throughout the play. You know, just little things like that are just gonna take us take us a long way. Uh, watched a couple things about the exhibition. If you've seen it on film, just just little plays, just not boxing out, you know, like I just said. But rebound is gonna be a big thing, and I feel like we we got the tools, we have the uh, the, the personnel to do it. You know, you got me, G, Fed, Blake. Our guards and getting that rebound, Carlton. Like I feel like we got pieces to rebound the basketball. We just gotta lock in and do it. Coach Cable did say after the after the exhibition that you know you guys weren't ready for the season opener yet, but that you would be by Monday. What are the what are the things that you guys have kind of focused on over the weekend and heading into that game? Especially like I said, defense. Um, you know, uh, be just somewhere really good, like moving around and moving around. Uh, so we gotta tighten up on on some different aspects, aspects uh, on not not be uh, ball watching, be be on the stance all the time. So yeah, we we made some mistakes on defense, and I feel like what I meant to say is that we're gonna correct those mistakes. And like like I said before, when we correct those mistakes and we do all the right things, it's gonna be really hard to score against us. It it looks like you guys are gonna be a lot deeper this year. I mean, you, like it feels like you know you're gonna have like a eight or nine deep rotation, especially in the beginning of the year. Does that take some weight off of both of your shoulders, just individually knowing it's like, hey, you know, I've got guys where if it's not my day, like there are four dudes on this bench who can kind of pick up that slack. Uh, yeah, it's a great feeling knowing that you got people around you that's, you know, good, like coming in and playing, coming in the game ready to play. You know, you're not, you know, putting all everything on you to, you know, do everything. You got people on the bench that can just be just as good as you, start for any other team in the country. And it's just a, it's, you know, it's a great feeling just know you playing with good players. I think the the first game, almost all, all of us scored right and did good things. So having, you know, knowing that even if you don't have your best day, you're gonna have someone stepping on the bench and do the same or a better job than you. It just of course takes a load out of your shoulders and being able to rely on your teammates and to play together, I think it's a really good thing for us. Is that the best you've seen Jorge play? <laughs> no, I've seen I've seen I've seen him doing really good things before, you know, and we all expect him to do really good things this year too. Um, but yeah, trust me, if my brother gets to it, it's gonna be messy. <laughs> Zach, the, the twins and Fetty had a special group. Have they allowed you into that inner circle, and, and what's that been like getting to know them? I have not been allowed into that circle. Uh, that's 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 their thing. 
that's you know that's the trio. I'm not finna you know interrupting that. You know they've been like that since last year. You know I'm just a new guy. What have, what have you learned though from them? Uh, I think just outside of basketball, just how you know cool they are and just how like caring people they are. Like just walking around in the city, just people just coming up, they just never say no to nobody. They just always take pictures, and I know like it's kind of annoying, but like at the same time they still do it anyway. Just so I could have a person like all three of them are. Zach, I mean, it was your first experience with those teams here the other night. I mean, how excited do you see them grow in numbers throughout the season? What was your, what was your experience on your team today? Uh, I'm real excited for that, man. Uh, shit, we just got a little preview on it for uh, on, on, on Friday. What was that, Friday? Yeah, Friday. Yeah, so I'm just really excited just to play in front of the student section. Just the fans in general, just, you know. I don't know, man. I was just ready for Monday. I was just ready for Monday.